Of course, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, with the pandemic this size are only really good defenses uh, vaccination. And we have several that have been very, very helpful at this time and they're working really well. So uh, recommendation really at this point is everybody uh, should get vaccinated so that we can stop this uh, pandemic and, and get rid of it like we did from the flu vaccine back in the uh, uh, 20s and 30s. So at this point, the current recommendations from CDC and all the other medical societies is that we should continue vaccination and vaccinate everyone. There are some concerns about long-term effects of these vaccinations. Uh, based on those studies right now, we're not seeing any particular side effects from these. You may hear one here and there, but then with, you know, when you're vaccinating hundreds of millions of people, there are a few um, issues that may arise, but by and large, these are pretty safe vaccines. Uh, you know, there were some concerns about Pfizer and Moderna uh, vaccines that are more of a newer technology. I also want to emphasize that this is not new. It's something that has uh, really been in the forefront uh, for this particular pandemic. However, this particular technology has been around for about 10 or so years. There are several vaccines that have been in phase one and two studies for the past seven or eight years. But because those diseases like Ebola are not as common and pandemic like what we see with COVID, people have not heard about this particular technology of mRNA. But um, this is the one that we are seeing that has been a mass vaccination and has been rather successful and I would recommend everybody to get vaccinated.